And joining me now to talk about the budget cuts is Lord Peter Levine, Chairman for Lloyds of London. Uh, good morning, Lord Levine. Thank you very much for joining us. Good morning to you. We've had a few days to digest the government's comprehensive spending review, and already the critics are saying it's going to push us back into recession. Do you think the government got the balance right? Well, you know, I'm, I'm a mid businessman. I'm not a politician. Uh, and I'm presently in, in the Far East in Singapore. And of course, in this part of the world, they have a very different outlook on life and uh, they're in a very different economic situation. But I think that uh, if you work on uh, Mr. McCorber's basic uh, thoughts on economics, uh, if your expenditure exceeds your income, you have a problem. So somehow or other, you have to balance it. And although it may be an unpleasant uh, experience, you can't put it off indefinitely, and I, I think that's right. But balancing it is one thing, but balancing it in, some say, such a short period of time poses severe risk. Is there a need to do so much in such a short period? Well, what's the right period of time? You tell me. You know, you could have had somebody who suggested you needed to uh, balance it in half that amount of time. Uh, clearly, a lot of people have given a lot of thought to how this should work, and they've come up with a plan which seems to be uh, understandable. Whether it's going to work or not, whether it's going to be too much, whether it won't be enough remains to be seen. But I don't think we could carry on just dithering and saying, well, we'd better get round to it before too long, but not right now because it's going to be a bit uncomfortable. Somewhere or other, we have to start. And clearly, as time goes on, it's going to be monitored and we'll see uh, the extent to which it's adequate or whether it's too much. And does that view cover the defence unit, of which it's an area, of course, that you're more than concerned with because you're leading the deform, re, re, defor, re, defense reform unit, excuse me, 7.5% um, cut in spending in defense. Uh, it sounds as if then that's fine, is it? Well, no. Look, my, uh, the task I've been given is to chair the unit which is looking at the reform of the structure of the Ministry of Defence. We're not looking at how the Ministry of Defence should spend its money or, or what it spends its, it on. But clearly the running of the Ministry of Defence, the way in which it's run and the costs of running it are significant issues and the Defence Secretary and the Government generally want to see if it can be done better. And uh, we have a group of people who have experience in many different areas, including the commercial one, to see if we can find a better way in very straightened times to be able to achieve what needs to be done without the same degree of uh, cost and the same number of people as do it presently. Uh, don't ask me what the result's going to be because we've only just started our work. But hopefully we will come up with something uh, which will enable the work to be done more economically and perhaps more effectively as well. Do you have some early ideas, areas that you've pinpointed that uh, could, could, could go about to achieve those aims you've just stated? Not yet, because we've only just started our work. We've got nine people on the group and they're supported by some very able people from within the uh, Ministry of Defence who are not, I have to add, all the usual suspects. Um, when we've completed our work, then it's for everyone else to judge whether we've come up with any good ideas or not. Now, you're in Singapore to celebrate uh, the 10th anniversary of Lloyd's Asia. Um, it's, been, it, it's been quite a decade, hasn't it? And it's interesting that it culminates at a period when AIA is about to list in Hong Kong, the biggest IPO in Hong Kong on Friday, huge demand for shares. What would you describe as the biggest opportunities for the insurance industry in Asia? What's the outlook after the current 10 years, after the past 10 years? Well, I, first of all, we've got to distinguish AIA, which is a very big uh, player here in the life insurance industry, sure. compared with Lloyd's, where, of course, uh, we are in the non-life industry. Uh, we've had an extremely successful time since setting up in Singapore. Our business here has run extremely well. It's predominantly the regional business, but of which uh, Singapore is the hub. We also have very effective operations in uh, Tokyo and now increasingly in Shanghai. And it, what is very interesting is to see how the economy and how people's views on business in uh, Asia differ very significantly from those you find in the US uh, and in Europe. Uh, as far as uh, the business generally is concerned, the insurance industry, rates are low. 
uh, they haven't gone up to the extent that we believe is necessary on the basis of the present market, but we have to push on. A risk is always there, and the speed at which the economy in this part of the world is growing, uh, we can see that there are new opportunities for doing business, but they have to be addressed uh, cautiously. But I think if you're looking for a part of the world which is really experiencing growth that we can all understand, then this is the place to be.